off is right. What are you doing, Larry? Becoming the greatest warrior. Like the great Kataka, of course. It's in my genes. It took years for your father to become as skilled as he is. Have you not heard the stories? You can't just watch him for days and become like him. You have to train. What did it look like I was doing? Um, falling? <laughs> what was so urgent anyway? You said to meet you here today and that you had something to show me. Are you ready for the greatest surprise of your life? Let me guess. You've learned how to complete several somersaults, glide through the air gracefully, and land gracefully as well. Why would I want to know how to do that? I already have a best friend who can, silly. Now come with me, but be very quiet. Lyrie, are you sure it's okay for us to be here? I mean, aren't we going to get in trouble for this if we're caught? No. No, we won't get in trouble for being here, or no, it's not okay. No, it's not okay. And yes, we could be punished. But no one will find out, will they? Ugh, something told me not to follow you to your father's shed. Why didn't I listen to that still small voice? I mean, that still small voice always keeps me out of trouble. And this is definitely trouble. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> That's it. I'm putting you and my foot down. You asked me to meet you here before etiquette lessons, and now, because of your shenanigans, we're late. Lyrie, you ready? Where are you? Coming! Gotta get out of here before she sees us. My dear, dear friend Lyrie, will there ever be a time where you come to my rescue instead of me always rescuing you? I'll stall your mother, and you clean up this mess. Lyrie, just look at you. Your hair is a mess, your clothes are dirty, and you don't have time to change. And what's worse is that you left your friend Maeti here waiting patiently to walk you to etiquette lessons. And you've made her late as well. <laughs> that was close. What took you so long? Something caught my eye. That's all. <laughs> 